Freeform is a versatile yet underrated tool on the iPhone. So in this video, I'll show you the key features. Over here, we have all our bots. And let me show you how you can add sticky notes into this bot by just tapping here. And you can enlarge it if you want to. Double tap to also add your text. We just type in a hi over here. And if you want to duplicate this sticky note, you can do so by just tapping on this option here. And we just drag things around to organize it. You are not limited to just the yellow sticky notes. You can go for the red one or any other colors that you prefer. Right now, let me show you the use of math results. To activate it, you just have to tap on the three dots at the top and you look for the math results. So you can choose to insert results, suggest results or off it completely. So let me show you how it works. You add in a text box here and this is where you want to put in your equation for the math results to be computed. Okay. Let's just go for 45 times 5. We'll just see whether he's able to compute this result for us. Okay, we'll just hit the equal sign and there you go. We have the results out for us. So this is because we actually selected the suggest results option. If you select another option such as off, then you will even see the results over here. Okay, so now let's move on to the next feature. I'll show you the use of image playground. So this is leveraging Apple intelligence. So over here, you can create a new image. You can use some of the suggestions below. So let's just try a few of these out. Okay, and now I'll just tap on one more here. So let's see what Apple Intelligence is able to generate for us in this image playground. So if you like this, you can just tap on any of these. But right now, you have different options for you to choose from. Okay, so there are also other themes that you can select, costumes. What's interesting is when we select the chef option, it actually doesn't automatically give us the results right away. We actually have to choose a person first. So we'll then select appearance. And then over here, there'll be a few options for you to choose from, a man, a woman. So underneath, there are also a lot of options for you to add on. So we can just have a look. So if I just swipe left, you have the accessories. So you can add on to this image that we already have. And if you want to type in something, you can also do so to edit this image. In this case, we'll type in with spectacles. We'll see whether Apple Intelligence is able to generate a character that wears the spectacles. So this is a big test for the image playground as it's not part of the suggestions. So over here, the first image that we're seeing doesn't have the spectacles, but the second one has it. So if you like this photo, you can just tap it in and you will go to the free form. And very quickly, you'll be added to our bot here. We can enlarge it if you want to. We can just pull the sides. Okay, so all looks good. Now I'll show you how you can add shapes into your freeform bot. So over here, you have a lot of options. We have categories at the top. So depending on which one you like, you can explore. So in this case, you'll have a lot of animals. So let's just pick one. We can pick the duck here. So you can enlarge it. And if you like to change the color of it, you can also do so instead of blue. There are a few options for you to choose from. So right now we've changed it to a pink one. So this is how easy it is to add a new shape. So we can just explore some of the other shapes available. Let's just uh, try out something different. We'll go for the people tab and we'll select the toddler over here. Okay, and now just organize it and you can change the colors if you want to by just tapping here. Okay, let me show you how you can search for shapes. Just select this icon here and you can just uh, type in anything that you wish to. In this case, we'll go for the fish and then we'll select any one of this and we just shift things around. Okay, now let's move on to the next feature where I'll show you how you can share links onto your bot here. So we just head over to the Safari app. We just tap on this. And if let's say you want to save this link to your freeform bot, you can also do so. All you have to do is just tap on this button here and then you look for freeform. There are of course many other options, but the freeform is the one that we want to go for. And then you have to select your bot here. And then we will just uh, select this one. And there you go. So right now you just save it. And we'll just head back to our bot to check whether it has been added. So there you go. On the right here, we have the link. So anytime you want to enter the link, you can just tap on it. Okay, and it directs you to the link. There is also other ways to interact with the link. At the bottom, there is a wide range of choices. You can just select this. 
So this eye icon brings you back to the page. So now that we have finished this whole walkthrough of the freeform board, you sort of have an idea of how all of this works, what are the main features and what's interesting about it. You can definitely do a lot with it.